Jacksonville State Volleyball played their first four on the road in Ohio Valley Conference play. Finally get to come home and play at Pete Matthews Coliseum. They'll be here Friday night, 7 o'clock Tennessee State, then Belmont Saturday afternoon at 2. A couple of more of the seniors, Anna Kirk, Allison Zulke. So far, 14-8 and eight on the year. Uh, are you happy with where you are right now? Um, we're 14-8 and eight in the year, um, but we're 1-3 and three right com- in conference right now. And I think we're kind of disappointed because we didn't think that we would be 1-3 and three right now. But I think we're starting to just look forward. It's a new day. And uh, we still have, I think, 13 more games to play. So we're just trying to be really positive with, with what's coming up. All right. Happy to be home finally to play a league game at, at Pete Matthews Coliseum. It is. It's really nice to be home in our atmosphere and see people at the game. And it's nice to have the home court advantage for once. All right. Both of you seniors, I'm going to ask you the same thing I ask everybody, I think, when they get to this point in time. Is it hard to believe four years have gone by? It was crazy because, you know, me and Allie were just talking like a few minutes ago and our senior games in a month. And it's just so shocking to hear that you literally have like one more month to play volleyball and when you've been doing it for 10 years. But yeah, it's really crazy. I think I'm just trying to just soak it all in, you know, just every practice, every day I get to play. It's just, you know, just a little bit less. To one. Wait, practice? Practice? Yeah. You actually said you're looking forward to practice? Of course. I mean, it's like every time I touch a volleyball, it's just a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Great response. I don't think I'm going to get the same way <laughs> on this side over here. Allison, what about you? Is it hard to believe this is it for you? It's hard to believe, especially now that we're like traveling to places, be like, this is the last time we're ever going to be here. That's kind of <laughs> it's getting us. But um, but yeah, I try not to think about it too much. I know senior day is definitely going to hit us and be waterworks and tears and all the old memories brought up. But right now I'm trying not to think that, you know, this is the last time we get to play and just having fun while we're doing it. All right. We talked to uh, Karis and Jen last week and the two of y'all, the four seniors, part of Coach Gamble's first recruiting class. Do you think now a lot of volleyball still to play, but where you are at this point in time, he had to do some rebuilding when he got here. Y'all been a part of that, but do you feel like you've laid the foundation now for better things in the years ahead? I definitely feel like we've laid a foundation and that when we leave, we'll definitely leave a legacy on this program. Um, We have, you know, started from the bottom and now we're here. Anybody else get that? No. Okay. (laughs) Um, But I I totally think that the, (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm all about the jokes today. Um, I definitely feel like we've laid a foundation and um, this program is just so much, so it's come so far since we've been here. So. You agree? Are you are you, are you uh, on on the same team here with him? <laughs> I am. Uh, I think the program's done a complete like 180 since we've been here, and it's been really special to be part of that process. And I'm glad to see where it's where it is and where it's going. I'm excited to see what else comes from it. I've done a little research before we got together. I don't know if you realize it. Right now, as you get ready to play Tennessee State Friday, you're fourth all time in digs in the history of the program at Jacksonville State. Really? So when I throw that out at you. <laughs> What what comes to what what do you think about? I mean, it's just I just think that it's been a really great four years, and I've learned so much from Terry. Um, totally give all the credit to him and where I've come personally, but um, I just think it's been a really awesome four years, and I can't wait to go out and play this last month with my team. Like I would never do it with anyone else other than the girls that are on this team right now. So. You are fourth in kills right now in a career at Jacksonville State, and you're top ten in kills per game, or kills per set, I guess is, is what I should say now. So what comes into your mind when I tell you that? Uh, kind of like Hannah, like it's awesome to, you know, leave those lasting records or impressions, but like for me that's more of a team award because clearly like I can't get a kill unless I have the pass and the set and people talking to me tell me where to hit and stuff so I think it's really a big accomplishment for the team rather than like just me but it really does mean a lot to be able to put my lasting like put my name on the record book and you both have a chance to move up by the way in case you want to go check it out all right Allison Zulke Hannah Kirk in action this weekend here at Pete Matthews Coliseum Jacksonville State Volleyball get ready for their first home appearance in Ohio Valley Conference play this weekend. Friday night at home here with Tennessee State. Then Saturday, they'll play host to Belmont. The schedule maker didn't do you any favor when you started league play four straight on the road, so I know you're happy to to get back here and play at home coming this weekend. Yeah, we really are getting in front of our crowd. We normally play pretty good, you know, pretty well at home, but 
Yeah, and not only was it four straight, one of those was a long trip. So it's it's hard on the girls, you know, but everybody's got to do it. They got to come to us, so no excuses. We have to make the, those trips. They got to come to us. So, you know, I wish the outcome was a little bit better. We played well. We had chances, you know, and we're, you know, we're missing two big cogs to our to our team right now. And we talked about every every week. I don't make excuses for it. But if we have Sadie playing, if we had Addie playing, we're, we're way better than you know than we would be so the, they they both will be on the floor next year so you know it's something to look positive to we get an extra year you know with them with that so you know but this weekend we'll go back at hard in our front you know in our front of our home crowd and i'm excited i'm excited to play at home last weekend a, a tough weekend as you mentioned and especially i guess friday night at moorhead that one was that may be the toughest one to deal with this year it, it is it's the toughest one to deal with in a long time we had the we had the set twice we were up 15 12 and in, in set four up 2 one in, in sets up 15 12 and had just a, a free ball play that we should have made and we didn't make it so instead of it being 16 12 it was 15 13 and then they went on a little run and we just couldn't you know catch up then we we're up 10 uh 13 10 in set five and had a swing for it and it, the ball you know what the ball just didn't hit the floor sometimes that happens and sometimes it hits the floor and you know we got it to allison who's our go-to and you know, it just didn't happen. So, you know, uh, that's one that we, we gave away, we'll look back on and, you know, but these guys here, you know, we talked about before before Saturday's match that we were giving them Monday off anyhow, you know, just try to get their legs back. And we had eight kids in the gym practicing. So the kids care, they, you know, they, they love the program and that speaks volumes to me, no matter what the outcome is. You know, you know me, Mike, I always want to win, but to have eight kids walk in the gym and say, hey, can we get some extra work done? That's pretty cool. All right, Tennessee State Friday, tough assignment, and then even tougher come Saturday with Belmont. So this weekend is not going to be easy by any means. No, no weekend's easy in the OVC. And Tennessee State's really athletic. I broke them down today in you know, our scouting report. We'll go through some of it today. We're actually changing our system a little bit, see if we can match up. They run a couple different things. So we're adding some things to it. And, of course, Belmont is picked to win the league. And they're, you know, they're loaded, you know, they're senior loaded. They're really good. They probably got the best player in the conference, you know, but last year we beat them at their place. Right. So, you know, we have a game plan against them and we'll go do the best that we can. You got four seniors. We talked to a couple of them in, in last week's visit and, and Carr and Jen. Now Allison and Hannah. Right. I don't know if you realize it, both of them as you go into this weekend, Allison's fourth in career kills already and Hannah's fourth in career digs. So that says something about the careers they've had here at Jacksonville State. You know, they've had great careers. And you heard me say it last week, last week when we talked and you know i'll say it again today as we look back and as we build this program and championships start to come to us no matter if it's this year or two years from now or next year these four kids are the ones that have set the tone for where we go you know our our hashtags brick by brick and they've done that i mean we're talking about four great kids four kids that care about the program i mean we're talking about some pretty special kids Thank you, sir. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, buddy. Jacksonville State, Tennessee State here Friday night at 7, Saturday afternoon, Belmont at 2. Come on out and cheer on the ladies. Friday night's contest, if you can't make it in the house that you're on, we'll, you can catch all the action on the OBC Digital Network.